Hi everyone, I'm Ruo Ying. I'm the program manager in Office Platform team. Uh, today I would like to update uh, some new investment in World API area. As you may know that uh, we've paused the investiga new investigation in for World ID for a while. Uh, during those time, we continually hearing your feedbacks and the requirements. And we know that uh, there are still strong need to have to build new features and uh, uh, fulfill new scenarios in World ID. So I'd like to share here that we are, we are continuing the uh, investment in World ID area. Um, today, I would like to share some uh, new updates. First of all, I want to uh, introduce what targeting scenario we are looking into. Um, first one is the citation management. So Word is crucial for uh, official and professional documents. We all know that the um, citation is, the, is a key for a do or professional document. We've had a lot of great ideas who can support, uh, greatly support those scenarios and provide solutions for people to easily manage their citation so they can add the accurate citation to their document and manage them in future. But now it still have some API gaps for them to, uh, for, uh, to support this scenario. And the next one is about the content insertion. So it's always support a lot of different objects. Um, APIs already support many of them, like the tables, uh, table, table cells, uh, content control, shapes, a, a lot of objects already supported, but still have some gaps. So now uh, we're looking to, into those different objects and trying to support more. So uh, the first API I would like to introduce is about footnote, which is a key asset of the citation. Um, for the footnote API, uh, we will provide the ability to, first of all, to add, edit, and delete. And we also can let you to get the footnote from any place you want. And then uh, with, the, with that, you can also get the footnote by the sequence. For example, you can get the next footnote or the first footnote, the last footnote. And you can also get it from different objects, no matter it's in a table or in a paragraph or in a content control. As you know, that footnote has a reference mark in the in the document. So the users can get the footnote from the reference mark and can also get the reference mark from the footnote. And as you may know that the document body actually don't include the footnote part. So currently, if you want to set the selection to the footnote, it's not doable. But with this API, you can set the focus to footnote directly. And then uh, definitely you can set your, you can edit it based on your selection. And last but not least is we support the search function. Um, currently, the document are search, well, uh, the body of search will search the whole body of the document. But with this API, we will help, we will support to search, including both the main document and the footnote. This is a list of the objects we support uh, for note. So you can see that uh, you can see the whole uh, object structures are supported for the note. So you can get full notes from different level. And the uh, two note itself, we named as note item. Uh, not footnote because uh, it will support both footnote and endnote. For the first release, we will only support footnote, but in future, uh, the note item can be um, either footnote or um, or the endnote, and you can get the diff you can get type from the note item dot type. Okay, so this is the footnote API. The next one is about the comment. Um, the modern comments actually we uh, we have the uh, we have the APIs enabled for Excel, and now uh, we are introducing these APIs to Word. The main design are similar, but we have still, we also have some difference. First of all, uh, we we support to add the comment and add reply or edit or delete. 
As you may notice, the, you can only edit your own comments. Uh, if I'm adding it, it's also the same. You can only edit your own comments and cannot edit other people's comments. And with the, uh, as with the delete, you can uh, delete a thread or only delete a reply. Besides those actions, you can also get the comments. And the board has a new features to support the comments with rich text. So you can also see, you can have a structured comments or you can have the URL link into, in your comments and pro provide a more a reachable experience in your ID. These two APIs are the APIs I'd like to introduce today. We also uh, enabled the bookmark APIs in online. Uh, as you may know that previously, this API has enabled in version 2 um, with, the, the, uh, with the new update, we will support it uh, also in Word Online. We have a demo, quick demo to show those, uh, how to use this uh, to APIs in the citation management uh, scenario and the uh, comment scenario. So uh, you can see uh, this, imagine I'm a student, I'm writing a homework, the teacher asked me to write an article. So I write an article about COVID-19 uh, vaccines. After I write the main content, I want to add some footnote for some words. I have an ID which uh, saved my citations. So you can add the footnote into the document and then you can set focus to check, okay, this is the footnote I want to add. And after I add all the footnotes, I would like to share the uh, document to my teachers. So I, as a teacher, I'm a reviewer. I want to add some comments to my students. I think this is a network thing, so I'm in my in my screen is also continue loading, but uh, I can continue explain what the video is doing. It's the uh, adding the teachers can add the comments into the document, and then after uh, after they do that, you can also insert the overall summary of the comments and the grade to the students. So this is the whole experience of uh, edit footnote and the uh, insert comments and get comments. We have a lot of more action support. You can get more details once we have the uh, document released. So I would like to uh, emphasize that the word APIs are currently were released to online first. We will have a requirement set as Word API online, and those APIs uh, will be only available in online at the first release. And the footnote API and the comments API are already in the process of rolling out to beta. So suppose it will be ready in a couple of weeks, to, uh, then you can try it in beta CDN with a preview link. So this is, uh, uh, the introduction of the new API. And if you have any questions, feedbacks, or, or uh, thinking of the different scenarios, uh, you please feel free to contact me and would like to talk more. Thank you. Thanks, back to you. Oh, well, thank you. That's really awesome. I saw from the comments some people are excited about this. Um, it looked like there might have been a question or two in there, Roy, if you want to take a look at the web chat. Mm -hmm.